What is going on guys? Sid here with another episode of Spooky Season Specials. Spooky warm-ups and guys um I think this is like a crossover episode because this can also constitute as a five minute boss battles episode as well, right? It would kind of like cross paths right here, right? But guys, the year is 1994 and guys this was like one of the games that I had on my Sega Genesis and guys Castlevania Bloodlines Guys, the Castlevania series is just like one of the most iconic series. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's one of the the, the all-time great series of gaming, right? The, the 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 lore behind the Castlevania series is absolutely insane. It spans so many different consoles. Guys, I love love this series, right? I love Castlevania, right? Um great great displays of counterpoint uh from a musical standpoint as well guys um uh konami kind of just like hit it out of the ballpark with this game and guys so so many memories tied to castlevania here i'm not even joking right i absolutely love this game as a kid and uh some of like the most early, the, like the earliest memories uh, in ca uh, uh, playing Castlevania, right? Um, uh, growing up, right? Uh, I, I I always wanted like my older cousins, right? Uh, my older female cousins to to like come over and just like play, but they were like way too cool for school. Like the age the age gap was like way too different, right? And then finally, like one of my cousins came over and she she she's just like, all right, fine, I'll play ball. I'll play with this little like. This little run, right? So we popped in Castlevania, and guys, we bombed at this game so hard, right? Because I was waiting for somebody to help me out with this game. But guys, I was like, I was, I was a kid. I was a kid when Castlevania Bloodlines dropped, right? And uh, yeah, 1994, right? Konami hit it out of the ballpark with this game. Absolutely insane, right? Um, I'm just strolling. I'm, I'm going through I'm going I'm, I'm strolling through memory lane right now guys um I, I'm at a loss for words right um so anyway anyway getting to the story like if you guys are new to like the Castlevania series um bloodlines right um it's 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 not the first Castlevania not a, not the first of the Castlevanias but it's the first that I remember right and all I could remember about this game was that it was brutally brutally di difficult like, like like that's what it's described as right uh if you do a quick search online you're gonna find out really quickly that this was like like an insurmountably hard game i'm not joking anyone anyone who owned this game knew how hard it was and this game's not really meant for kids right um because a child tried to beat castlevania it's just it's just torture right that's all i can remember about this game right how insanely difficult it was right here you're gonna see i like pause the game right i was like trying to like remember the controls i didn't want to screw anything up so i like paused the game went straight to the manual right and uh had to check out the controls yeah but um bloodlines was like um known in japan as vampire i'm just wikipediaing this right now right so it was known as vampire killer and uh in europe and australia the new generation right so i'm pulling it off of wikipedia right so um obviously if you guys know more about the series like the history of the series the the, the famous the infamous konami series uh do drop some knowledge on my bootay it's all good guys so obviously obviously um these two friends right um you know they're they're tied to the belmonts right and um uh this 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 one takes place uh during like the build-up to like world war yeah it's world war one right and uh elizabeth Barth bartley is the main antagonist right supposedly the main antagonist i wouldn't know right um like i would but i wouldn't know right i'll tell you obviously you guys can guess why because i never beat the game <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, I, I, I may have beat the game using cheat codes, right? So that could be a lie, but my memory's a little hazy right now. But yeah, Elizabeth Bartley, right? Um, it says here that she's orchestrating um, the game of World War One, right? So she's trying to bring Dracula, like, she's tr trying to bring her uncle back to life, right? Um, and obviously that's Dracula, right? So every time they put a stake through Dracula's heart, right, in this series, right, he always finds a way to come back, right? And 
Guys, I remember playing with like both of these characters, right? Um, obviously you can see that I chose the one with the long range weapon, right? Um, I usually do that. Uh, I I, can, I remember doing that. Um, I believe his name is like uh, so like Eric Lacar, right? It should be like Eric Lacar. Um, so yeah, it's 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 John Morris, right? And uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. yeah, Eric Lacar. Yeah, um, the I believe he's Spanish, right? Um, I I'm just doing like a quick like once over, right? But the game, the game was just so freaking good, right? And a lot of that, a lot of that has to do uh, with like the heavy like counterpoint, in, uh, like um, like the soundtrack. Guys, I still go to sleep, like um, like in my playlist, right? Like I still listen to the Castlevania Bloodlines playlist. Can you believe that? Well, I, I come from a musical background, right? But um. The thing is, right, that this, this, this series, right, uh, especially Bloodlines, right, the counterpoint, like, um, is just so insanely well done that, um, the music really did stand out when I was a kid. Like, I, I, I like, more than the bosses, right? As you can see, I'm clearing the level, right, but more than the bosses, right, I remember the music so well, right? And sometimes i just go to sleep and i'm just like i just I'm like okay you know what i'm gonna pop open you know i'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw on some castlevania bloodlines to go to sleep right if it's not some asmr stuff um i'll uh, you know like on uh, some thunder or lightning or whatever to, to put me to sleep right or, or some weird sounds or anything like that i'll listen to the bloodline soundtrack like, i don't care right amongst other things right but definite definite bach um going on in the soundtrack right um but yeah, guys, uh, <clears throat> like Bach influence, right? Um, and if you even like scroll through Wikipedia, they'll tell you that right away. But you didn't need Wikipedia to tell you that, right? Um, it's heavy, heavy counterpoint. And it's really, really good. Like, you know, it's traditional harmony, right? It's traditional music, right? Um, um, uh, well, uh, Western European music, right? Um, but uh, without, you know, uh, getting into like uh, music theory or, or anything, anything further this doesn't that's a whole different like uh like topic altogether right um but definite Bach influence right uh, the, uh a lot loads loads of counterpoint right um loads of good counterpoint um traditional counterpoint but um yeah guys we are clearing the level we're going we're going through the level right and um it's 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 like it's it, for, for for me playing this right now, especially for the spooky warm ups, right? I kind of want to just beat the game right now that I'm an adult, right? But as you can see, it's still as difficult as I can recall, right? Um, it's just wildly difficult, wildly wildly difficult, right? And I think when my cousin came over, right back in like uh 1994, <laughs> right? I, I believe it's 1994, right? Um. When my cousin came over, she was like trying to help me beat this, uh, beat like the first couple levels, right? And uh, I think she she struggled more than me. Right? Well, she was uh, she was older than me, right? So she grew up on like the the, the NES versions of the uh, you know the Castlevania series, and she grew up on all these like, games, right? But she was like way older, and I I guess she like hit the stage. Like I was still like um. This was, I was like prepubescent, and she was like she she already passed me. So her, her focus was guys, right? Her focus was definitely dudes at this point, right? But me, like me being the little rug rat that I was, right? I was just big on Castle, and just being the gamer that I was, I was just huge on Castlevania, right? I was huge on a lot of these like Sega Genesis classics, right? NES classics as well, right? Um, but uh, yeah, guys, this this game was like uh. I, I believe Netflix has like a series uh, based on the on the games now, right? And I think I got through like one season, and then I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna hold off on it and uh, return to it when like I like I was like like strapped for time, um, and I never like got around to like finishing out like um. But I think I'm gonna like binge binge watch all of them now, right? To see uh, how much I remember, right? But. Sometimes I, I, I like um just to play like catch up with like how the um uh with how the Castlevania series uh progressed like um in terms of uh, the mythology um what I'll do is uh, I'll just go on uh, YouTube and I'll just like scroll through like all of like the game movies and things like that right and watch other people play the game right but obviously you're, what you're seeing here is just me sucking at this game. <laughs> Like, if you don't see that, right, to all the Castlevania pros out there, because I know 
there are a lot of gamers and gamers like gamers once they find their niche like once they find like their their their, their, their the games that they they they've mastered or, or like they do the long plays or the speed runs like especially the speed runners right they're gonna know every to like the nth degree what i'm doing wrong at every stage right so uh, this is just me sucking as badly as i did in 1994 right i'm just like trying to like recall my memories as to how the game how, how the players move the mechanics I'm, I'm like learning it for the first time just seeing everything for the first time here right so i hope you guys get that experience right and uh yeah i remember i all i remember like especially this part right where, where, where that that whole skeleton like breaks like starts breaking apart guys all i remember Run, run, run! <laughs> it's the coolest thing, right? Because you really are taking like a nostalgia trip. You're taking a blast of the past. You're taking a stroll through memory lane. You're taking all of the goodies from your childhood and you're re-experiencing re it now, right? And you can hear the enthusiasm in my voice. It's it's, it's one hundred percent authentic, right? And the digressions, right? Um, how 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 many tangents I go on as I'm as I'm telling you guys this, guys. It's 100% pure, it's authentic, right? It's how I remember the game and how I remember the bosses. You guys finally get to the stage one boss, right? And guys, so difficult. Well, it's not really difficult. What I'm gonna tell you is, you gotta learn the movements, right? Of all your bosses, right? It's the same thing with like Streets of Rage or any of like the saving games or any of any game, right? You have to learn the movement, you have to track the patterns, right? And that only comes through like time, right? Like, like you have to have experience with the game, experience with the levels, right? But I think this is like the best purchase I made. I just made this purchase this morning, right? I didn't sleep yet for the day, right? Like I, I, I'm, on, I'm on fumes right now, right? Um, and I'm on the East Coast, right? And this It's like morning hours, but I'm like Dracula myself. And, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get sleep, right? Um, especially with all the FIFA content you guys see, right? I'm usually on British standard time, right? Most of the time, right? Um, but. It doesn't matter, like my sleep size goes all over the place, guys. But guys, without digressing too much, guys. <sighs> look at this, look at this, look at this. We're clearing stage one, right? And obviously you can see I died. And I was like, you know what? Maybe this will be the time that um we defeat the boss, right? So I have that weapon, right? That boomerangy uh, type weapon, right? Don't know how to get to the top. Uh, I think there's something wrong with my left trigger, right? Because um, I think uh, my left, my left L2 trigger, you know, uh, I'm gonna have to change like, like uh, I'm gonna have to change um, change the uh, controller soon, right? Because um, it seems like my L my L2 is just like causing causing me to unfortunately like pause the game, right? Like um, it's just like it's a little too sensitive. But guys, I died again. Right? And of course I died again, right? Um, it's something to be expected in the Castlevania series, right? Especially Bloodlines. Um, these games were known, I have to use my continue, right? But these games were known for being as difficult as they are. And that was quite the appeal, right? Because the, the from the box art, like the original box art, right? The original box art was just like, to, to like a kid looking at it, it was like, whoa. Right? So creepy, so cool, so scary, right? That was su such, a, such a scary uh, illustration, right? And you're just like, whoa, is, it, is this game gonna like match the, the, the spooky level? Like the scare, like the creepy, like the, uh, like the crazy spooky levels, right? Uh, that that the box art um, portrays? And the answer is yes, right? This game is just like, it's Dark Souls before Dark Souls, right? Um, is that what the game's called? Like, I haven't touched that series, but I hear all the jokes all the time, right? Um, I think there's like a million memes about that game, right? Um, the Bandai game, um, about how hard Dark Souls is, right? So this is like, I, 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 I would, I would want to say like this is the Dark Souls, like this series is like the Dark Souls before Dark Souls. Right? Um, because all I know about Dark Souls, right? Because I've never touched the game. And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but they tell me how hard that game is. Well, guys, I have Castlevania, right? I, have, you guys had Dark Souls, I had Castlevania. It's legit, right? And anyone who runs through Castlevania will tell you how hard 
what this game is. So if you guys are into like difficult games, like Ninja Gaiden, I, I think I remember that being like ridiculously difficult as well. Like a couple of the Ninja Gaiden games. But guys, yeah. So yeah, uh, long story short, right? Um, we're clearing the final boss, uh, the, 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 the boss of stage one, sorry. And um, yeah, so Elizabeth Bartley, right? So yeah, definite, definitely a nod to Elizabeth Bathory. Right? Um, seems like a definite nod, right? And she's trying to revive Dracula, right? The king of Transylvania, right? King of Romania. And, uh, guys, we're trying to put Walter on that dude, right? But this is as far as we go for Spooky Season Special Spooky Warm-Ups, right? Because I suck at this game, and I'm probably gonna use a cheat code like I did in 1994. And, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was so fun. I think this was, like, the best 20 bucks I spent, right, all morning, right? All right, guys, peace, love, all the blessings to you and yours. Sid, cheers.